project for the control of tuberculosis using mass radiography required the development of a quite new type of camera lens. Working at an aperture of f0.7, this has 16 separate curved surfaces involving eight glasses, each of which has two distinct characteristics. This gives 47 variables altogether. It needed all this paperwork to compute this lens and required three years of laborious calculation by the designer and his two assistants. A calculation which could now be performed in a matter of weeks with Pegasus. The Houghton Readership Survey yields 13,000 new questionnaires every year. The resulting information is published as 32 complex tables. At present, it takes six weeks to prepare them. Pegasus will do it in a few days. The speeding up of calculations made possible by Pegasus can save lives. The complicated stability calculations for each new type of aircraft can now be completed before the test pilot is asked to take the plane up for the first time. The facility of computers for storing and quickly representing great quantities of information opens up totally new fields. For example, air traffic control or weather forecasting. Information can be processed so quickly that useful predictions can be made before the weather has actually changed. Now let us take a definite example. When an electric cable is being erected, it must be pulled tight enough not to sag too much in summer, yet not so tight that it breaks in winter. The foreman on the site uses a family of curves like this. They are derived from formulae of this nature. To solve these equations, the programmer prepares a list of instructions to the computer in a form acceptable to it. Initially, these are written down like this. They must now be transcribed with a tape perforating machine. This transposes the characters onto tape. These punched holes can represent either instructions or numbers. In practice, a second tape is always punched by another operator and the two tapes can then automatically be compared to eliminate human errors. All this equipment can be housed apart from the computer proper, which looks like this model. On the right at the back, the power supply cabinet. To the left of it, the computer itself with the control desk in front. At the bottom of the screen on the right is the output teleprinter, and behind it, the output punch. In the center, the control panel and monitor tubes, and on the left, the high-speed input reader. First, the program is fed into the computer to prepare it for a calculation. The program tape is placed in the input tape reader, and the operator checks all the equipment to make sure it is ready. Now we can start. This makes the machine read in the program of instructions and the numerical data to be worked on. You can see how fast Pegasus is taking in the program by the speed at which the tape is pouring through. This tape reader runs at 200 numbers a second. These holes in the tape are converted into electrical impulses. They come up on the monitor tube like this. Let's stop it and look at one word. These impulses are now being operated in the computer. This is made up of a large number of basic units. They plug in and out quite readily for servicing. The socket it plugs into looks like this. These sockets are all interconnected at the back. They are color-coded to make sure that they are put in the right place. These packages are mainly of five basic types, all assembled on identical blanks. These four are manipulating circuits. And this is the fast storage unit. The construction has components on one side 
and soldering connections on the other. This system allows for dip soldering and for printed circuits. In this fast storage unit, the succession of signals of pulse, no pulse, are injected from this coil down a nickel delay line inside this sleeve. They travel along the nickel line and are picked up by this coil. At the start, the signal has this shape. After passing along the line, it has become deformed. In this form, it is accepted by the pickup valve and amplified passed to the middle valve and reshaped, and then passed back to the driving valve again where it is re-injected to the line. In this way, the word can be stored until required. Then it can be obtained every time it reaches the driving valve again. That is, 8,000 times every second. Pegasus also has a main store of very large capacity provided by this magnetic drum unit. This part is the driving motor. Under the cover is the magnetic drum itself. This is coated with red magnetic iron oxide bonded in resin. The drum rotates at 4,000 RPM. Here is a stack of 10 read-write heads. They are fixed close to, but not touching, the surface of the drum. Here is just one single head taken out of a stack. It records the pulse, no pulse signals, and also reach them back again when required. The working gap at the top is only a thousandth of an inch wide. When the calculation has been completed, the results are fed out and punched onto paper tape. To make it possible to read the answers, the tape moves on to this unit, which senses the holes and operates the teleprinter. The punch card machine can be used as an alternative. This accepts the results more quickly. Fastest of all is the magnetic tape unit. Now to return to our original calculation, sag and tension in overhead cables. The results began to come out within a minute of starting the calculation. Pegasus is completely automatic. It can be programmed to give a signal when it has completed any stages of its operation. Pegasus is a machine which offers to scientists and designers a practical new tool for their work. A tool which offers opportunities of opening up entirely new fields of endeavor and investigation. <laughs>